Well, the heat is on above normal temperatures all across the region, peaking across Idaho here 15 to 23 degrees above normal. Notice how it's cooler to the north and west with the cloud cover and that weather is tracking in our direction. I mentioned the uh, storm prediction center putting out a slight risk for uh, severe thunderstorms. This is rare to have this in the northwest to have a yellow uh, showing up here. Doesn't seem like it's a big deal on this scale, but that scale is really set for the Midwest for the tornado producing storms, but we could have some super cell storms potentially uh, it's not showing up in the computer models but the atmosphere is still ripe for it and the green area north and west of Boise so Boise up to the, the McCall area Boise and West Central Mountains a better chance for some isolated storms and locally gusty wind to 60 miles an hour is not out of the question with any storms that form something we'll just keep a close eye on as we go through the evening but they would be isolated I believe in nature cloud cover developing in the McCall area but it's been warm temperatures tomorrow going to start to come down near 70 today, 63 tomorrow, and a good chance for some rain in the afternoon and some thunderstorms that on Saturday showers are likely uh, off and on through the day with a period of rain in the morning and a, a period of heavier rain in the evening, but still showers through the day and then just getting colder. Cold air comes in with a chance for snow showers for you campers up at 5,000 feet. That's most all of Valley County or maybe even higher. You're probably going to see snow and rain 100% chance of accumulating of moisture, so mostly rain but it could be mixed with snow. High temperature only 42. So campers, it will be cold in those higher elevations. Outright snow showers in the forecast for Monday morning before the temperature comes up back into the 50s and then warming up next week, of course, right? Here's the extended forecast for Redfish Lake. The lake's looking quite nice right now. It's been mild today. Saw a couple boats out there, but tomorrow it gets a little cooler. Six to two with showers and thunderstorms later the day. Rain showers off and on through the day on Saturday and a rain-snow mixture during the day on Sunday and there are the temperatures 60s 50s down to the 40s again with that morning snow potentially on Sunday and even on Monday as well. So all of central Idaho looks that way. Southern Idaho. Now this shows scattered thunderstorms. Bruno, I'm thinking southwest Idaho could get that break where much of the daylight hours on Saturday. It's not going to really rain much. It's going to rain Friday night till about six, seven o'clock in the morning on Saturday and then it may be just dry and then we can actually get a little sunshine coming on out. But then in the evening as the sun is going down, so most of the day will be nice. Uh, then you get the thunderstorms coming in and then a better chance for rain on Sunday and into Monday as well. So here we go. The heat's coming in from the south and west. Isolated storms developing now in southeast Oregon. The heat comes in for tonight, but then the colder temperatures come in behind us. Futurecast is going to track this moisture. Here's coming in for Friday. Just cloudy at midday. A chance for some afternoon showers right here on Friday. Then we go into Saturday, Friday night, Saturday morning, four o'clock in the morning. We've got rain, but it's shifted to the east now. And as we go to the middle part of the day, look at this. This is nine o'clock in the morning, clearing sky in the afternoon. The potential for some sunshine in southwest Idaho while the higher elevations get showers and then heavy rain showers come in Saturday night and a low pressure sitting right over pine is going to rotate rain right back into Idaho for the day on Sunday. And that could make it a little on the wet side. Forecast for tomorrow, drop the temperatures a little bit into the 70s. Not a bad day, although there will be a chance for some showers and maybe some thunderstorms heading into the late afternoon and early evening. Quick check in my extended forecast again for the Treasure Valley. I'm thinking we could have a break in the rain. It's tough to forecast this, but the daylight hours on Saturday may be dry. And then on Sunday, a good chance for rain wrapping in and colder in the 50s. More showers possibly in the morning on Monday.